Good morning, dear health seekers. Inga from Health Origins here. So this glorious sunny morning, I'm going to take you on my morning run in a bit, but I wanted to talk to you about sun ga gazing. Can't even say it and it's right in my face because these um, the steps on my front um, at my front house are really, really sunny. So it's really great actually to watch the sun for a little bit in the morning it's better a bit earlier in the day i mean now it's about eight o'clock in the morning so the sun has kind of risen higher um you know it's still good to have a look at it it's it's almost a bit too bright now you kind of want to look at the sun and do some sun gazing when the sun is just rising um and it's like a little bit um less bright you know when it's just just starting to get up in the sky um the reason is i mean you don't have to necessarily look at it now because it's a little bit too bright but um you know if you do sun gazing a bit earlier when the sun is just rising you know this resets properly your um circadian rhythms you know your digestion and elimination phases um you know and it's just obviously getting vitamin c um as well so vitamin c vitamin d even you know from the sun is so so crucial um apologies that i'm i'm keeping with my eyes closed because it's so bright the sun it's so glorious this morning i love it um so yeah so enjoy and utilize this vitamin d you know um <laughs> through your skin um, and sun gazing to reset your you know to properly set your circadian rhythm because um, we used to rise with the sun and go to bed with the sun that's what our natural you know cycles used to be now we obviously stay like so late and get up so late so we kind of our bodies if you're not seeing natural sunlight early in the morning our circadian rhythms might be a little bit out of whack um you know not quite fully uh, chimed in so yeah so you know sun gazing early early in the morning when it's just rising is a great idea you know to kind of to get that sunlight but also don't be afraid to look at the sun when it's you know lower down in the sky now it's just too bright you can't look at it without you know without squinting but you know earlier when it's lower down when it's just rising um it's a great idea to do some sun gazing um to reset your circadian clocks so yeah so um let's get on with my um run and i'll i'll kind of you know show you and talk to you how um it's great to obviously do a little bit of cardio some movement in the morning to get that fl blood flow going because even though you do some stretches doing a little bit of cardio just keeps that you know um well that that kind of heart um strength you know that um just cardio because car you can't replace cardio by with stretches you know i do my yoga and it's great but still you know if i haven't done a little bit of running um you know so cardio doesn't have to be running if you don't like running it can be a bit of cycling a bit of swimming stuff like that something that would you know raise your heart rate a bit because you know that's a different kind of exercise to your um stretches um yoga that kind of thing you know cardio is its own little um you know exercise which you know it's a great idea to do um to just keep the health of your vascular system of your kind of heart and everything and that stamina um up. so yeah so this is my front um garden by the way with all the berries so we had to protect our um as you can see the currants you know they're covered with this green sheeting we had to cover um because the pigeons started eating our currants green already not even ripe like last year they de decimated the whole the whole bushes we only got like a bowl of it left um you know and they'd done it even before they were fully ripe well kind of more right but this year they started early you know green they're not even ripe yet so we had to protect them with some um, 
with some uh, netting there and then um, we've got quite a few raspberry bushes that are amazing they bring us a lot of fresh raspberries um, in this season so yeah so let's get on to the run so on my run before I go running I say hello to my beautiful horse chestnut tree called Oscar <laughs> Um, well, I've just named it. I think it's, you know, quite cute for the tree to have a name. And that's how you can ground yourself without having to take off your shoes. You can actually just hug or touch your tree for a minute or two, you know, and just actually reconnect with, with the tree because trees are majestic. They, you know, hold such a lot of energy. Um, and they're so grounding. So by you touching the tree, um, because the tree is obviously rooted in the earth, in the ground, you're exchanging, you know, you're getting negative electrons from from the um, earth and then obviously you're discharging whatever you don't need to um, in the body, you know, like static electric and all of that. So yeah, look how glorious. I just love hugging this tree for a couple of minutes and reconnecting and grounding myself. As I jog about, I also collect some rubbish lying around. So I'm doing a bit of a favor to our green spaces too. And if I happen to run by a rose, I always, always smell it because um, I love the smell of roses. Rose oil or rose smell is the highest vibrational oil, rose essential oil. So yeah, so it's just lifting your vibration when you smell roses. I love it. So I'm going down into this lovely forest. I love it at this time of year. So glorious. It's all green and you can hear so many birds. So this is called uh, forest bathing. You know, going into green forest and seeing, seeing the greenery and also hearing the bird song. It's so amazing for your health. Basically, you are uh, bathing yourself in all this greenery. This is amazing for your heart chakra because your heart chakra is a green color. So literally, you're just giving your heart chakra a shower, if you like, when you come into the forest and see all of this amazing greenery, the bird song. It's, it's amazing. So give yourself that gift and you know, if you have a forest or a woods around you, um, have at least a few minutes of that every day if you can. Um, I absolutely love it. And you don't have to run very fast as well. You know, you could do a fast walk too. Um, I'm obviously not running currently because I don't want to shake the camera, but you know, you could do a fast walk if you don't like running. Um, just anything to get your blood moving and, you know, raise that heart rate. Um, it's fabulous. Also use this opportunity to do some full body stretches. So lift your, your hands up and lean to one side, stretch the whole side there um, and do six deep breaths. Then switch to the other side and do another six deep breaths. And then the other side. And then also do the uh, the bend so get the hands behind you know behind your back like that. And then, you know, drop forward and kind of stretch that way. 
and also switch over and do the hands and drop this way as well, kind of fully relax. So yeah, you should feel a good stretch through um, through the back of your legs, through you know your kind of whole legs. And if you find a tranquil spot like this, I love sitting and doing some meditation in sunshine in nature because meditating in nature is just on another level because not only you connect to yourself but also um, to nature around you as well you hear the bird song you smell the air you feel the sun on your skin it's incredible and while you're meditating it's a great idea to just take your shoes off and connect with the earth with the um, grass just to feel that um, nature below you and to get that great energy from the earth and discharge any any static electricity because we are electrical beings and we definitely need to connect with the earth energy every day um it's always harder to um do that grounding practice in winter months so um you know if you live somewhere like i am in uk obviously for most of the year it's quite cold and it's not nice to get your feet out you know onto the grass onto the ground because it's really cold so like i said connecting to you know to trees is one way another way would be to actually have grounding um, sheets or mats in your home um, that way you are always grounded when you're sleeping or when you're working so you know you can have a mat under your feet at home when you're working at the computer or under your um, you know hands on arms you know when you're working um, on the PC um, it's a great way to actually still be grounded even when you can't um, you know go outside and stand barefoot on the grass or on the ground so I hope you enjoyed my little reconnect with nature video um, if you're new to the channel welcome and subscribe for more videos where I give some healthy lifestyle tips also plant-based recipes um, and remember food is fuel as well as movement and connecting to nature very very important so until next time